Good morning, everyone. We are in Tuk Tuk number two. Number two. And we are heading to the weekend market, which is called Shadapoot. Shadapoot. I'm probably totally saying that wrong. Yeah. But I'm um, supposed to be this huge market, food, anything you could possibly want. We're just gonna go check it out and go walk around. It's pretty far from uh, from where we were staying in Bangkok. So yeah. it's, been a, it's been a haul. So. It's like four miles. Yeah, which seems, honestly, in the city, like 18. Yeah, because you know? there's so much traffic. But it's cool because we get to just like chill in the tuk-tuk. Yeah. Or I keep calling it tuk-tuk. Tuk-tuk. Tuk-tuk, yeah. So let's go check out the market. Let's check it out. weekend market which is like woo, careful there's like it's like four miles outside of uh, downtown Bangkok we took a two tuk to get here for 200 baht and basically tons of clothes bathing suits food stalls popsicles popsicles anything it's kind of like a big outdoor flea market where you can get some actually some really cute like nice clothes um, and I saw just saw some cute bathing suits oh, of course you can get a massage <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's just a big flea market. Come up, come for you know a few hours. You know you're gonna get lost and just kind of check it out if you want to go shopping. Um, it's cool. There's Pep. Can't miss him. Lime green pup. He's filming right now. He's backpack filming. Oh, what is this place? Oh, food. It's supposed to be the place to get food. We've arrived at Viva 8. Uh, Viva 8 is a place to kind of come out of the sun, uh, get a cold beer, relax. There's a live DJ here. Um, and also the chef is a Spanish chef. Uh, he's known for his paella. He also puts on a little show. Um, he is kind of the show. He throws peas around, does little magic tricks. Um, his, his motto is a smile needs no words. Um, but it is just a great place to come out. The uh, paella is 160 baht, which is a little expensive for market food. But again, it's worth the ambience. Come and people watch, have a couple beers and get out of the sun. So, rocking the new shirt in honor of Mimi LaRue. I know y'all know Mimi LaRue. But uh, also on top of that, Kim and I uh, turned the corner. We were actually talking this morning and we said uh, that I asked Kim if she's been asking for signs because we saw sunflowers. Which is my sign. Which is her sign. And so I have like real, like pugs as a sign and then real rainbows. And so I said, well, I haven't seen any of my signs. I turned the corner. Literally, this is what we saw. This is what we saw. Not even a minute after you said no, that. No, right after I said pug it. Pug nasty. And we saw a pug keychain. Like, Absolutely. Right next to each other. Right next to each other. So, this is my new shirt. That's what he's wearing tonight. That's what I'm wearing tonight. District. Yep. So, gotta love it. We need a room. Chinatown because most of the time that's going to be in like the hub like the main downtown area of the city so it's like a little crazy down here and we're just going to walk around and go check it out crazy day of walking around. Put on a pug shirt. Put it, look at him. Like, I mean, how amazing is this shirt? It's everything. Like, it's so good. So, 
I love it. So we are heading out to, uh, we're gonna go check out the Sky Bar. Which, and then the underbelly of Thailand. And then we're going somewhere, the un, the unmentionables of Thailand. So, we'll see. should be interesting, but we figured one in Bangkok. It is so amazing up here. It's all open air. I'm drinking a hangover teeny that is so good, yeah. but it's like $20. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's very, very expensive. very expensive, but it's actually a really cool thing to do just to come see, have a drink. Have, yeah. And then bounce. Come, have one drink, and then yeah, hightail it out of here because it's super expensive and really like hoity toity. Yeah. Um, but the view is so worth oh, it. So it's incredible. Check it out. Plus, it's a gorgeous, like, just layout. So. Oh my god, I know. Well, we're gonna sign off here. Yep. Next stop is the dun, dun, underbelly. Dun. I wasn't gonna say wait for it. Oh. It's okay. We'll find out. Wait for it. See you soon. Cheers. Cheers. The Hangover. Loved it. Great movie. We hope we're not hungover too. tomorrow, no, though. No hangover. No hangover. All right. Bye. So we will keep you posted. We definitely won't be filming inside. We won't be filming. No, so we'll we tell will, you when we come out. We will debrief. Yeah. Wish yeah. us luck. Yes, oh what's my that gosh. light coming off your head there? I'm like an angel. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Alright guys. Wish us luck. Here we go, ping pong show. Ping pong. Scared. Yeah. Ah. What's up everyone? Okay, so we just got done with the ping pong show and to be honest, um, I, we didn't know what to expect, and we went. Everyone said it's a Bangkok kind of experience. You gotta go. We went, and uh, I not, would not recommend it. Not something it, I want to support, nor I feel bad that I actually gave money to support yeah. that. Um, we actually don't go see elephants uh, and ride elephants because they torture and abuse them. Now these women are not tortured and abused. Do not take that is what I'm saying. But it's, we don't know. We don't know, but it's just not anything I'd like to support. It's just sad. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's just sad. It, uh, it's just not. It was not an experience I would ever do again, and I would never recommend it. And no. So we went, we put it on the vlog, and so we just wanted to do a quick debrief and leave it up to whatever. We're just gonna say that it wasn't a like it wasn't a cool experience. It made us feel uncomfortable. Don't do a ping pong cool. show. There's so many other cool things you yeah. can do, like like come the smoking pug. The smoking pug. Dude, look at this place. Look, there's pug what? murals. All what? over, okay? What? And that's just some Three that I happen stories. to be wearing the shirt. And Aaron's brought, he's dressed for the occasion. Three stories of pug pictures. The yes. owner is from the States and has a pug. Has, has two, two pugs. Like, how did we end up here? And this was right up the street from the ping pong we show, actually, so this is our saving grace. And we actually said we wanted just some happy, something happy we to come like, into. Yeah, um, like, and we saw there's people in a bar. I turned around, I was like, let's go here. We turn around, I look up, and the name is The Smoking Pug. I so could cool. not believe it. It's an American jazz bar uh, with great food and ribs and barbecue. It's like, yeah, barbecue. This IPA that we're drinking is phenomenal. They, this is a must-see in Bangkok. For sure. They have tons not the of, like, they have tons of, like, draft beer and cocktails and, like, good food. It's very, um, like we said, it's American owner. Like, it's, Owner's it's a cool, really, really cool, cool vibe. Staff, like, we're, Super excited. Yeah.
and awesome. So we're gonna enjoy our night, but the Smoking Pub, Bangkok, Smoking pub. in the Silo neighborhood, I think? The Silo we don't neighborhood. Know. We don't know, but look it up, because it's on TripAdvisor we'll and everything else. We will. Alright, guys. Mm -hmm. Out.